Yeah, so people are making a big deal about this. I don't see what the big deal is. Um, this article is from OK Magazine. Was Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore caught wearing a wig? After she after saying she only wears her own hair. Who cares? Do y'all care? Maybe some people care. Must this is like a lot of people are talking about this. This is insane. The article says Kenya Moore has some explaining to do. During the Sunday, January twelfth episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, it was revealed that the Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Oh, she's 48. Oh, hold on, y'all. They trying to click an ad in here on me. Um, She left a wig with co-star Tanya Sam during a preview clip of the upcoming episode to air on Sunday, January 19th. This came as a surprise because Kenya has always insisted that she only wears her natural hair. <laughs> this is insane. Um, I guess that's the end of the article. That's stupid. Um, because um Marlo accused Kenya of wearing a wig. Um, during uh, Sunday's episode. Um, and she said, I want to know, why do you have on a wig? Marlo asked Kenya, to which she replied, don't even say that. Don't you try it. <laughs> then Marlo, she on a confessional was talking about, I was missing a wig at my event. Did she take my wig when the band marched in? Marlo continued to press Kenya, and the two women bickered about whether or not Kenya was wearing a wig. Marlo even went as far as tugging on her wig in efforts to get Kenya to admit she was wearing a wig. Pull it off. Pull it off. Marlo insisted, Kenya has a wig, not the one who came to my event and was promoting product for natural hair care. Kenya continued to dodge Marlo's accusations when Candy, 43, chimed in, insisting that the ladies ended their trip on a good note. <laughs> That's so stupid. Like, why do they make an issue about everything? The internet streets. Well, I had saw on her Instagram, you know, people was taken up for Kenya like, she didn't say she never wore a wig. Like, she's saying it's not good to wear wigs every day of your life. Oh. You gotta let your, your hair breathe and all that stuff. So, who more uh, great of a person to get advice for, for having beautiful hair? I would say Kenya is. Um. But, you know, they was at that um, party where they was fighting that, uh, the day before. So, her hair probably got all frizzed up and sweated up and big. And she she probably didn't feel like doing that with her hair. So, she slapped that wig on is what she did. Because it was sitting on top of her head, you know. Man, I definitely don't know how to wear no wig. But you could tell it was a wig. I was like, her hair looked funny. And then Marlo said that. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean... Um, even if a person said they would never wear a wig, like I said, I mean, who knows? People can change their minds. So what do you think about this crazy issue? It's like, it shouldn't even be an issue. I think Marlo, she just, she they just jealous of King and more long hair. She got that beautiful hair. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. See y'all later.